Okay, I'm going to try to show you uh, dielectric uh, counter-avoidance, or what you call repulsion. Unfortunately, it's extremely hard to do with uh, incredibly powerful little 5 8 inch magnets underneath a ferro cell at an extremely awkward position, but there's a special formation that actually occurs. Now, you think you're looking at one pole here, but you're not. You're looking at a special formation. You see how I'm able... You notice how that looks like one uh, pole of a magnet? Now, to the left and the right of that, in parallel, we have both magnets coming together this way. This special formation is unique, and I will talk about it in the, the third edition. The reason why this looks like one pole is it occurring at 90 degrees to what you call repulsion. I have two extremely powerful magnets laying parallel to the surface of this lens underneath here, trying to come to, I'm trying to push them together, they're not trying to come together. What you can see is I actually torque the magnets. They obviously want to. The electricity wants to void itself at the other side of the magnet. This is space meeting space. This is literally causing a hole in the ether. I'm creating polarization. You'll see the same thing on the other side. It's really hard to really hard to hold the magnet like this is just one pole. You'll notice that it looks the same except we have our specific hypertrochoid pattern. Whew, that was a tough one. But what is occurring between these two magnets, let me turn the light on for a second, is that what you were looking at is me bringing both magnets together like this in counter-avoidance underneath the lens. Pushing extremely hard to bring them together. Let's do that one more time if we could. So you can see that special formation because it looks like polarity but it is something entirely different. It creates polarity in the space of the field at 90 degrees of the counter avoidance on either side. You notice there's no hypertrochoid pattern this time, correct? You see the sphere distorting as I actually wobble the magnets in either direction. This special formation is occurring on the other side if I had another ferro lens and if you can see it on the other side. I'm creating a polarization in space at 90 degrees to the counter avoidance or what you refer to as repulsion. It has a centrifugal and it has a centripetal. You can actually see the ring. What I'm doing is in counter avoidance like this I'm actually creating another spot in the ether for dielectricity to terminate and the magnetism resultantly to reciprocate. Without getting too technical, I'm literally creating a non-existent magnet in space. I'm literally polarizing space itself by creating ext extremely strong, well not extremely strong, I mean, they're only two small magnets, but I'm creating a strong dielectric this isn't it, this is just one pole. What I'm creating is a strong dielectric voidance in space where no magnet is. I'm creating a polarization in space which resembles a magnet. If I were, if you're able to see that polarization in space, I have one magnet here and the other magnet over here coming together, well, I'm pushing them together in counter avoidance or what you call repulsion. And what it's doing is at 90 degrees it is creating a polarization in the ether itself where there is no magnet. Now this is a magnet. What I'm getting is an identical pattern out of the space as posterior to the fields. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a polarized spot in the fields of the space between those two fields because I'm actually using enormous force to push them together in that repulsion and resultantly what necessitates is a polarization of the space as posterior to those two fields. 
It's literally turning Mother Nature upside down and head slamming her. <laughs> for lack of a better analogy. Anyway, thanks for watching.